Yo, 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 what it do, YouTube? It's your boy GT. And welcome back to another video. Today, we got another Madden rebuild. This time, you know, we're keeping it in the NFC South. We're going to be doing the Saints. And I mean, hey, there's a lot of talk about, you know, Sean Payne is stepping down. And um, there's recently an incident, like the Pro Bowl just happened, and like with air and stuff like that. But very, there's a lot to work on here. You know, they have no cap space. They have a Taysom Hill on a crazy deal. Strong pain left, so no head coach. Well, they just got one in Dennis Allen. So that's what we'll be doing today. So my goal today is to rebuild them. Once again, I'll be giving myself to like 2050. 20, no, not 2050. 2025 to 2026, 20, around there, four to five years. Uh, yeah, four, yeah, four to five years. So, yeah, we'll be doing that, rebuilding the Saints. And, you know, I'm going to do it like how, like, I think like what they should do or like what I think is going to happen. Yeah, man, we're going to get into it. Yeah, so we're going to get right into it. So looking at the recap, Rams won the Super Bowl, beat the Bengals 42 to 21. Yeah, looking at this roster, man, if we took a look at it, uh, the quarterback, James Winston's a free agent. So I'm thinking about, I think that I'm going to just let him walk, take some hill, probably just going to release him because he's making a lot of money. Camaro, for this video, he'll stay on the team because, I mean, nothing's really, like, confirmed yet. So, he'll stay here, obviously. Um, Yeah, like, O-line is good. Ron Armstead, definitely someone I want to bring back. Um, So, we got to get that. Definitely need to improve this wide receiver room right here. And, yeah, so I think I'm probably going to draft a QB, but we'll see. But, tight end, I think Charlman's fine for now. Defense is good. You know, we got a little bit of, um... Some old old players here like Malcolm Jenkins. I don't know. I have to look and see who I exactly have to resign like the sign, but we'll get into that later or further in. But um Yeah, so I mean the team's like it's in a weird situation. Like it's kind of like it could happen it could go they could go into like a rebuilding transitional stage or they could just, you know, try to build on what they have right now and still try to like be a contender for the playoffs and stuff. But I don't know, I think especially after losing your QB and then like uh, you're a coach, like, I think, like, I don't know, personally, I think they go quarterback, but, yeah, so, they got the players to resign, I don't even think I have any money to even resign anyone, if I wanted to, yeah, we have no money, so, all of these dudes are free agents, you know, all of them, so, that's kind of tough, pretty much the whole, like, Toronto Armstead, definitely want to try to bring him back, Marcus Williams will try to bring him back, Winston's gone, Juan Alexander, maybe if I could get him on a cheap deal, and Deontay Harris, perhaps, because like I also gotta think about getting a receiver. So I don't know. So um, yeah, we can't sign anyone. We could just can't trade anyone right now. So we'll get into that at the free. But uh, let's just look at the mock draft and see who they have us taking. We have like the we have uh the 18th pick, and they have in Kenny pick. I don't think I'm gonna take Kenny pick, but I do think I'm gonna take one of the QBs. It'd be like Matt Corral. Or more like, yeah, Matt Corral or something like that. Or like Carson Strong. But I don't think Kenny Pick is going to, I'm going to pick him. But yeah, let's get to free agency. And um, yeah, so definitely a lot to take in. Like a lot of free agents, salaries down bad. So looking at the salaries, is there really anyone that we can even get rid of? Lattimore staying, Bradley Roby. Someone that could definitely trade him. Maybe I trade him for like a wide receiver and also this isn't going to be like a great realistic trade like so i'll be like man some trades that might be like kind of weird but yeah marcus davenport obviously like i mean there's really not anyone not a lot of you like david on your meta yeah he could stay i think everyone's gonna stay but i think bradley roby is definitely gone and yeah so i'll look at the trades and try to make a trade and i'll get y'all with what i get all right, nothing big, but I did manage to get a third round pick from the Texans. So we'll be trading Bradley Roby to the Texans for a third rounder, which we could use to get that receiver, which is something we really need. That clears up some cap space, so we could we could do something. Still really not much, but I mean, it's something to work on here. So we, yeah, we have nine mil. I don't even think we could bring back like, yeah, we can't bring back anchor. Yeah, so we're gonna have to, oh yeah, this is gonna be tough. So like free safety, we have none. I think Marcus Williams is off the table. I mean, no, we could offer him a deal. Hopefully, he comes back. Like, that's the most we could offer. Offer him. Like, maybe 
I bump it up to like this. Not much. That actually lowered it. Wow. So we'll just offer him this. Definitely not going to resign, but the Quandre Diggs, someone we could definitely look at. But I think, I think I'd actually rather put a Sean Elliott's almost the same as like Quandre Diggs. I think, okay, we could go with Deshaun Elliott since he is, oh, he's out six. Um, look at Quandre Diggs here. I'm trying to see Quandre Diggs. We get at least like two years with him, three years. So, um, I, I we could just do Deshaun Elliott, even though he's injured. I mean, there's really no rush, so we could sign him to yeah, three year deal. See if he comes, but besides that, there's really not much you could actually do. So maybe like offer a wide receiver a deal, but like because Michael Thomas, he'll probably be like, um. Will be like the possession receiver. We need like a deep threat. I mean, these receivers want a lot of money. Want a deep set, deep threat, uh, deep threat. Do we bring like Marquez Vado Scantling here? Andy Rugg is definitely not getting him. So I think we could offer like Marquez Vado Scantling. Deal. Actually, we don't even. Have, I don't even have money, so it had to really be like. So okay, I think John Elliott is gonna be my only free agency offer if we get him but yeah i think that's really it and i mean oh also forgot we got to do something about Taysom hill sean elliott's okay we did get to sean elliott that's a w now can i get rid of Taysom hill i completely forgot about him making can't get rid of him yet so that's tough definitely want to do that as soon as possible though because that contract is not it so i mean that's pretty much it we really have nothing else that we could do so looking at this at the mock draft definitely taking them how i think carson strong like i don't know we'll see but like yeah definitely a qb i think we're the first pick and then in the second round probably receiver then we also have to bolster up some on some other positions like we just lost our tackle so we need to get tackle in the draft so maybe i take a tackle with my second pick um yeah so really not much we could do so we're just gonna advance to the draft and um i'll catch y'all at the end of the draft too all right, I'm not going to lie to you. We got some gems up in here. We got Sam Howell, which is a W. We got our quarterback for the future. We got John Mechie the second. Or John Mechie the third. Um, would be, he's also a W. Would be good to pair up with um Michael Thomas. So we got him. We got a safety in Jalen. Right, I'm not going to say his last name because I'm not going to get it. So we got a safety in Jalen, who could be that. Um, I'm pretty sure he didn't have a free safety. I'm pretty sure they left him free agency. Got Rashid Walker, right tackle. Uh, he might be hidden. I don't remember. But Ryan Rams, uh, not Ryan Rams. Um, Tron Armstead left, so that's a W. We got our left tackle, right tackle. He can move uh, for the future. Uh, Nephi Suell. Definitely pronounced that wrong. But I really got him because um, we could use more linebacker depth. And he actually, I'm pretty sure he has good zone coverage. I think that's definitely would be a W. Yeah, yeah, 73 zone cover. So, yeah, that's a W. Got Michael Clemens. I know for a fact he's hidden, which was a W. Got him. And then the last picks that I did, I just, Jalen Armour Davis, Charlie Kohler, and Corey Durden. Those are just to add depth at those positions. And hopefully they could blossom out to be some. But I, it's not really me. I'm not really expecting them to do much. So, yeah. We'll go to, we can take a look at the roster and see how it looks now. And we'll go right into the regular season. So looking at it, John Mechie third, the second receiver for now. But once Thomas comes back, well, once Thomas comes back, he'll he maybe be the second receiver. Wow, he actually has wow. definitely starting somehow over um Taysom Hill. So that's gonna be done. And he has negative six morale, so that's a W. And yeah, Rasheed Walker actually, yeah, our lines like this. Rasheed Walker's not gonna start, but like our receivers are really bad. So hopefully. I don't know what the time frame on Michael Thomas is out for four more weeks, so he'll be back by the regular season. That's a W. Defensively, we got a W left end for the future after Cameron Jordan uh, retires or whatever we do with him. D tackle, we got Durden as a death position. We got Duell as a uh, linebacker. We need a right outside linebacker is also something we need. And then we got Jaden here because we had none. Oh, we, I forgot we got Deshaun Elliott. 
All right, well, he's out for four weeks anyway. So, yeah, it's pretty much just add depth to that position. But there's definitely a lot we can approve on, especially in the corner department, outside linebackers, another D tackle, and receivers. So that's some we'll be looking to uh, um, approve upon. But, yeah, so I'll see you at the regular season. That's where our journey really begins. All right, it's regular season time. We play the Falcons first. Not that hot in overall. But, yeah, set season goal. I think this is still, like, a rebuilding phase. And we play a lot of good teams, like the Bengals and stuff. So, I think for now, we'll do, just for the first year, I think we focus on four wins. I think, I don't want to over, try to overachieve, because I don't, I don't really have that much um, expectations for us in the first year, obviously, because, like, there's still a lot we could improve on. Alright, so we got all of this to go through. Upgrade players for oh, that. They got definitely some up in here. Actually, how long we want to uh yeah, Phil General I think is fine with him. Getting him hey yo, they that player model is doing bad. Yeah, definitely Phil General, get him into that spot. Be good with what he is, how he is, develop him. Yeah, so Alright, we'll ca I'll catch out the Mid-season mark, probably not going to make any trades, really. If anything, the only trade I will make is probably... Probably wouldn't even be a trade. I'll probably just release Taysom Hill. Um, yeah, we'll see when we get there. I'll see you at the, the trade deadline in the mid-season point. We'll see where we are. I almost forgot. Let's look at the depth chart real quick and make sure everything how we want it to be. Michael Thomas should be back. Yeah, Thomas is back, so... This is fine. John Mechie third as our third receiver. That's fine. Um, really nothing else really. I think everything else is fine. Uh, yeah, everything. I think I'll start. All right. Yeah, not really much we could do. I'll catch y'all at the midseason point. All right, we're two and four at the deadline. I mean, that's kind of expected. Really, didn't really have that much high hopes for us. This is kind of like a transitional phase for us. Definitely got some. Upgrade actually a lot. Dang. Wow. Um, all right, so yeah, I'll probably gonna just upgrade the some of these dudes and I'll just let you handle all this because it should. I think it's the, it'll just do the scheme fit what we want anyway. So, Speed Walker definitely want to get him ready because he'll be definitely stepping up into that tackle position. Got that, and we can look and see if anyone got their dev trait. I don't think so, but we could check. I'll get that. He has, Sam Howe actually might have his dev trait already. Does he? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, he'll have he'll have it soon. Don Mechie the third. I don't think he'll have it either. Want him to be a physical. Nah, he's more of a. Yeah, we'll do route runner slash deep threat type of dude. Uh, do we just do deep threat on him? Does his speed 91 catching? Ah, uh, he can only meet it out. Um, kind of need to... I guess we'll do route runner so he gets all those upgraded. But, yeah. Yeah, definitely want to get all those upgraded. So we'll just do medium. We'll do route runner for him. Should also... Like, look at it now. Yeah, 72, 90. That's good. I'll just let the... Feel that I've been here, I'll just let the that. Yeah. Alright, so week eight. Let me see if I can get rid of Taysom Hill. Almost forgot about that. For the salary, see how much we're making. Oh, he's making. Um Oh yeah, we definitely wanna I'm fine with Rock on you. Look. Bye bye, Taysom Hill, you're gone. And we could take a look at the mid season point and see um how my how we're all doing. Um, first we gotta do this. Any players ready to negotiate? Have money now, I believe. Okay, Gardner Johnson definitely wanna be back on the D. That should be fine. Eric McCoy definitely wanna be back as well. I'll bring you back on a three year. Well, I think that's fine. Honestly, like everyone's pretty much coming back. Everybody on these type of deals. Davenport wants a better deal. Leave it on yet on your meta. Mata. One year deal. I think that's I think that's reasonable. One year deal. Maybe that was like a little overpay, but not really. Marquez Callaway. I think this is a fine deal. 
Yeah, we'll give him that. I think that's a fine deal for him. Mark Ingram, probably going to let him walk. Everyone else, so Davenport's really the only one that I got to bring back. Want to make sure we do that. But, um, yeah, I'll just... So, for national focus position, I'll probably just keep it on what they're good at. Yeah, so we'll do... We'll keep it at QB. Even though we don't really need a QB, we'll just keep it on that for now. And, yeah, so... Looking at the stats, not good, obviously. Let's just see how... Oh, we have to see if anyone else got it. So Sam Howell, 1,600 yards, 9 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Okay so far. Kamara sent 300 yards. Good on him. Even Callaway leads us. Then Michael Thomas. John Mechie, third, only has 81 yards. Defense, do we have any that um are performing really well? Well, five tackles. Rookies, I do not. An armor Davis. Um, fighter. He has, yeah, he has a tackle. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um. I'll catch y'all. Oh, actually, wait. No, no, no. We gotta see if we actually got anyone for this. If anyone got their dev trade, so I don't think so. Tackle anyone like lemons. I might move. He could actually. Nah. Yeah, there's really no one because the only dudes with dev traits were Clemens, Betchy, and Tim Howell. So, yeah. I'll catch out the end season mark and hope, let's see how we do. Not expecting anything crazy, though. Alright. So, yeah. We're. Oh, wow. We actually ended 8 and 9. That's not really bad. That's not bad at all. I'm surprised, actually, about that. 1 8 and 9. So, we did good. We started to come back. So, that's a W. But, um, yeah, we got some people to upgrade. I, I'm actually really surprised. We started off really bad, and then we came back, you know? So, I'm going to just do cool. So, yeah, we get them on zone. Get him going on zone. Yeah, we have we have a solid team. It's not... It was just kind of like a transitional phase where, like, it could... It, I mean, it could go really either way. They could just keep trying to go for the playoff push, or they could, like, get the key pieces. I mean... Even if they draft the key pieces, they still have a lot of good talent on the team. So, I mean, it's nothing, like, out of this, like, world that's going to happen. You know, it's just, they could still do good. Deeper, I do want to get John Mechie up there in the crowd, though. So, I'm going to give him deep. I'm going to do a deep there on him. So I definitely want to get that up a little bit. 66 or whatever it was is not good. Okay, I see that he is star. So that's a W. But everyone else, but, um... Everyone else says, I don't think that, I don't think our, um, and Thomas got it, since he really didn't even get any playing time, but we'll just have to see. Else, uh, I just, okay, so now, definitely want to see what he is. He should definitely, I mean, I'm fine with whatever he is, because, I mean, I mean, he probably, he did good, at least I'm assuming because of our record, but. We'll take a look at that in a second. So, yeah, he star. Okay, nothing crazy, but nothing really out of the not out, nothing crazy. But um, that's completely fine. But um, yeah, take a look at the stats. Oh, he's actually he was third in passing leaders. Um, do we have anyone else? Michael Thomas had thirteen hundred yards, four touchdowns. Um, anyone really get anyone anyone else or anything? But um, yeah, I mean, definitely not a. Disappointing season. We actually overachieved. He actually did really good. 33 passing touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 4,600 yards. Yeah, that's crazy. Kamara, 1,200 yards, 18 touchdowns. Mark Ingram, 300 yards, 9 touchdowns. Even wise, Thomas went crazy with 4 touchdowns and 1,300 yards. Callaway, 1,000 yards and 4 touchdowns. Um, John Mechie, the third, only had 1 touchdown but did have 200 yards. Definitely will get more involved as time goes on. Defensively, he had. Oh, he had a lot of picks. He had 15 picks. 15, wow, that's actually surprising. Alright, so yeah, great. Jalen Ar Armour Davis got one. Did uh, the, I don't think the free got one, but that's actually surprising. Okay, we had two people with 12 and a half sacks. Marcus Davenport and Cameron Jordan. That's a W. 
Yeah, I don't think Clemens had one sack. Yeah, really didn't get much that playing time. It doesn't even tell me how much. He played 41, 41 down. So, yeah, really didn't get much. So, he definitely doesn't have his depth trade. But, yeah, definitely looking forward to see what this team will will blossom into in the future. But, uh, yeah, I'll cut you off the offseason, and we're going to get right to business. All right, taking at the take a look at the yearly awards. Doesn't don't have anyone. Tom Brady's still up in the league in this, so he won MVP. Who would have thought? Um, besides that, Sam how might have gotten on the board. Not getting on the board, sadly. But defensive play of the year, do we have anyone? Yeah, Marcus Davenport. Yeah, he went crazy. Twelve and a half sacks, definitely. Okay, Sam how Sam how won offensive rookie of the year. Love to see that. Um, defensive rookie of the year, I doubt to really have anyone. Kyle Hamilton fell to the East. That's fun. Okay, man. Best QB, Al up there. Okay, he's ninth. Best running back, Kamara's fourth. Love to see that. Best receivers, Thomas definitely got up. He's not up here? Wow, that's crazy. O-line definitely got to have someone up here. Oh, never mind. D-line, we definitely have to. Okay, Cam Jordan. Ain't no way they put up 12 and a half sacks and didn't get closer than that. Best linebacker, doubt I really have anyone. Best DB, maybe Lattimore, but really not anyone else. Lattimore didn't even make it. Best kicker, wouldn't that the much. Or at least something important. So the Super Bowl is Titans versus Cowboys. And we'll see who wins that. But we got some upgrades and plays real quick. And how him going on that field general. You know, he's going to go crazy soon. Definitely would love to see what we... Oh, he's superstar now? Oh, wait. Okay, I got to... Okay, okay. I got to check and see what um if anyone else went up. Superstar. That's crazy. Superstar now. Don Messi the third. Star, but that's fine. That, what made him... I guess because it's Super Bowl week. They tend to... um Okay, it's staff week, but... Tend to go up and down when it comes to that. Um, quick draw... I guess this is fine for now. Maybe give him inside dead eye. Yeah, we'll give him that. All right, we'll give him that. I don't think we really have anyone else. Yeah, not really. Davenport, star. Oh, Clemency star, so he did get it. That's a W. Yeah, man. Well, definitely need to improve the outside linebacker position. Uh, the draft of free agency. We'll get into that. I'll catch y'all at the... Resign players, Mark, because I do think we still have to, we have to resign Davenport. Yeah, I'll catch y'all during that. All right, well, Davenport wanted to leave, so I franchise tagged him. So I'm kind of mad because I had to overpay him by about four mil. But I mean, it is what it is. You got to keep on to him. So we're not going to have that much money. And he did lose the dev trade anyway. So yeah, I don't get why Madden does that. Where after the, I guess, for like, if you make the Super Bowl with like the playoffs. I don't know. It's weird. They'll give you dev, your players a dev trade, and then the next thing you know, your advance will weekend is gone. So, who knows why they do that. But, yeah, so looking at this, really definitely need to improve that. Linebacker, I don't think it's really that much of a problem unless, like, DeMarco Davis went down or he retired. Because he still should be fine. Looking at this, John Metchie. Oh, yeah, we, Marcus Calloway's not here. I swear I signed him. Didn't I not sign him? I swear I signed him. Well, he's not here, so that's but I swear I signed him. But um okay, so tomorrow Davis is just star now. I mean corner outside I mean really just corner outside linebacker. Corner outside linebacker tackle. So hopefully we we only we don't have we don't even have that much money to spend. So hopefully we get someone really definitely want to look at the outside linebackers, maybe like a uh I don't even think have any money definitely not so maybe like at corner we could actually use it um i wouldn't be i wouldn't mind signing a vet or we could get romani Fourier or greedy williams um oh but they're getting a lot of money is there anyone else that's star that's not really good that much money? i mean Darius Williams, Darius, Darius Williams wants five mil. He fits, he's star. I think we do. It's only five mil. We could spare that. Definitely want to do that. Provide some depth to that position. Then 
tackle that we could snag for Keith to pair with David on. Oh, actually, do we get rid of Anyamata? He's getting old. Um, Patrick Cox has no offers. Um, let's see if he accepts this deal. I doubt it. Um, let me see how much um Amanyata is making. Maybe he gets moved because he is getting old and his dev end overall is falling. Like Cam Jordan, all of these dudes are staying. So I really just all right, we can't even get rid of him. So he'll he'll stay. So we'll advance. I'll advance the week and we'll see who we get. We got Mario Williams. That's a W. I'm looking at it. I doubt we get. We have no money anyway. But I doubt we're not. So we're not even gonna get Cox. Yeah, he has offers. Eagles are gonna resign him. All right, so that's pretty much it for us. Actually, we have like no money, but maybe we, we could resign a receiver. Um, maybe there's like a small chance that we get one for like maybe a deep threat since Don Mechie really isn't that. Walking. God Higgins. Um, James Washington. Um, I just need someone who's not getting like a lot of money. Um, Rashad Higgins. I think maybe Rashad Higgins could fit. Um, actually, I want someone that's really. Say Jones, you fit that. You ninety speed. I think Traquan Smith might be good. Nine speed. Jimmy Walker's actually also might be. Yeah, I think the best here is uh Zay Jones. So, um, we could offer him. He takes how much eight seven points. I'm willing. All right, since we're the only offer, we might be able to get away with lowballing him a little bit. So we'll do four point four. See if that we are lowballing him, but I mean it might work. So we'll offer that just a shot in the dark, and uh, if we get him, I'll catch y'all just at the draft, and hopefully we get him. But it's not that big of a deal. So I'll catch y'all at the end of the draft, and we'll see who we get. All right, the draft is over. We got some good, solid players once again. I prioritize D tackle and earnest win. You know, get that D tackle for more support and more depth. We got Kendrick McKinney, which will fall in. He'll play line. He'll play right outside linebacker. For so that'd be a good. That's a good spot. We got B.J. Jackson just as a uh, as like a secondary option after Demario Davis is gone. Got that Carter Morgan because the one I drafted last year, the tight end, I mean, he's not playing, but um, I don't know. I just felt like underwhelmed with like what he could provide to the table. So we got Carter Morgan, fourth round anyway. Right tackle just in case the other tackle doesn't really work out. And Walker and Steve Cleveland in the center just to add more depth to that O-line position. So that's what we got here. And yeah, so looking at the roster now, look at it. I think it's solid. Wrong one I want to look at. I want to look at the actual picture one. Look at this. It's not bad. It's not bad. We got Sam Howe, superstar. Aaron running back, W. Troutman in tight end. He's good for now. Like, our O line should be fine. I mean, if anything, we we'll start Walker over Hurst and just keep it like that. Which I think we actually will do. We have Michael Thomas, John Mechie the third. We did get Zay Jones. That's a W. Got our deep threat. And defensively, I think we improved. Yeah, look. Got our left outside linebacker. Actually, that's good. We got a left outside linebacker. He's not gonna move. You stay there. We have Malcolm Jenkins. Malcolm Jenkins backing up Chauncey Gardner Johnson. Got a cornerback in uh Darius Jump Williams. Um and yeah, so it's not I think we'd definitely be better. If not the same as we were before. And just looking at this, I think we definitely like slot receiver, Zay Jones. I don't think so. I think I'll probably put John Mechie there if anything. Yeah, actually, yeah, John Mechie will go there. It actually really isn't bad. I mean, if we generate lineup, maybe it'll change. But it's really not bad. So yeah. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna change the slot receiver, and then I also might change the linebacker position and put either Swell there or the the rookie we just drafted now. Yeah, because I don't think I I got Zay Jones to be the deep threat, so I really want to be smart. Put that there. So yeah, Zay Jones. We'll do Zay Jones. No, John Mechie. 
Um, since we, uh, we'll do John Mechie, Yusuf Winston Jr. And then for the last resort, we could do Michael Thomas. We'll put him in that role. Sub linebacker, I want it to be exclusively linebackers. So it'd be DJ Jack. Does he have a better, what's his own coverage? 59. Well, it'd be swell. And then for last resort, it'd be DJ Jackson. Yeah, so that should be fun. As a last resort, it'd be DJ Jackson. So not that big of a deal. And yeah, I'll catch you at the start of the regular season and we'll get right into it. All right, season goal. If we got, I think we could definitely get seven wins out. I think we definitely got better. I mean, not really better, but like more. I think we got more like um, reinforced. We got more strength, in, and I think we'll actually perform a little bit better. If not, I mean, there's a chance that we get worse because I know that happened with some of that just happens at the end of the day. So there are some trade candidates that could be gone this this uh, at the deadline. Uh, specifically, like, Cam Jordan, if he's out to look at his contract. Malcolm Jenkins, like, there's a lot of, like, old pieces we can move. Since they're, like, really, uh, regressing and falling off. But for now, I think it's fine. And yeah, I'll catch you all at the trade deadline, and maybe we'll make some trades. We'll just have to see. It depends how our record is. Alright, it's the trade deadline. We're 5-2, and two, which is a W. OBJ's on the lines. Looks like they're struggling. So, actually, this is really good. Okay. So looking at this, I don't think there's really anything we gotta move, but um, any pieces we gotta move. But I'll take a look. Players ready to negotiate. Cam Jordan, ah, uh, he might his both Demario Davis and Cameron Jordan's time might be over with here. Marcus Davenport definitely. Yeah, we have a lot of cap space, so honestly, we can make some plays here. Marcus Davenport, I like the salary. Roll Lutz, um, might as well bring him back. It's only seven mil. Why not? Okay, he doesn't want to come back. David on your matter. Probably someone that's gone. Darius Williams. Probably someone that's gone. Star Ruiz. Definitely someone we want to bring back. We'll sign him on a three-year deal. Looking at the future. Adam Trout Troutman. Definitely want to bring him back. Wouldn't be bad as a as a starter for us. Definitely want him back. And maybe Forrest Lamp comes back. But I mean. Yeah, so really the only people, Cameron Jordan. I think. I think I'll leave them to a free agency because, like, I, let me look at their stats and see. Like, we can take a look at their stats real quick and just see how they're performing. But, yeah, we'll, yeah, let's take a look at their stats and see if they're, like, if they're providing for us, like, right now. And they're not really, like, there's, they're not really, if they're providing, then they'll stay. Like, Cameron Jordan, we're, we, we're eight weeks in, only three and a half sacks. Like, I mean, yeah, there's still plenty of games left. I might just keep him. It depends on... Let me look at the contracts and see. Like Demario Davis. It doesn't look like he's doing really that bad either. Yeah. So, I mean... It really just comes down to their contract. And, we'll like... So, like, say I was releasing him Jordan right now. 14 mil. I mean, we could do that to get younger. And I could package, like, David Onyemata. Onyem and Marcus Davenport. Not Marcus Davenport. Cameron Jordan. But, um... Like, Demario Davis, he's good. He doesn't want that much. I think Cam Jordan might go and Demario Davis stays. But if Cam Jordan goes, it's really a matter of where and like what we'll get in return. Because looking at our if we look, if I can find it. If we could look at our end situation, I wouldn't mind our rookie from last year sliding into that uh end one. Clemens actually lost his that's kind of tough. I mean, it's still not terrible. Maybe we could get a uh Maybe if I package Onyemata and Cam Jordan, but I need a deep tackle with it. Now this is where it's tough, cause I get, I guess since we really don't have that much depth at those positions, they'll just stay for now. But they'll stay. So at least for this season, they'll stay, and then I probably won't resign them. So looking at this national focus, I'll just let it do its. So if anything, if we got to prove on, I think we strictly go D tackle in the end. If we look at this, this is what has is taking. We don't have any high draft picks. Well, it depends. We might fall off. Like corner, I don't really think that's what we're going to do. If we take a look at really the ends, maybe, um, really not that many, like, really generation, not, 
all right actually this class looks like really good for uh at least right end so i mean who knows but yeah so i'll upgrade i'll upgrade these players and then i'll catch y'all at the the um regular season mark at the end hopefully we go crazy but um for this Patrick mckinney i want you to be that yeah speed rusher get to that quarterback as fast as you can and go get him I'm actually third. I think he's more of our route runner now. All right, we got. I also want to look at um. Definitely want to look at the stats and see how our team's performing. Should be doing good. I I want to see how Sam how how is doing. Offensive, um, offensive additions like Zay Jones. See how just see John Mechie actually took that next step and is actually going crazy now. Hopefully he is. We're five and two, so I mean, I hope so. So not that I just let the QB do. Not the QP. Uh, I'll let the AI finish all of that. And if we look at stats here, Sim Howell is not in the mix for passing leader, which is crazy. Um, maybe he just he's taking a break. It, it only matter. He's taking a break. Actually, well, I mean, it is early on. He 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 probably will be at the end of the year. But for now, yeah, he's fifth. So I mean, not that far off. He's doing really good. Not throwing a lot of interceptions. Love to see that. Rushing, Kamara's going crazy. You know, Mike Tom, Michael Thomas going crazy. John Mechie going crazy. Jay Jones going crazy. Love to see that. Defensively, as we said, Demario Davis, Marcus Davenport. Actually, we're, we're doing really good. Um, Adebo, Paulson Adebo leading us in interceptions. He's going crazy. Yeah, man. All right. I'll catch y'all at the... I'll catch y'all in the playoff at the playoff market and hopefully we get get in. I'm praying. Hopefully we get in. Alright, so we make the playoffs. Wow. Wow, we went 12 and 5. That's crazy. I was not expecting that much. I knew we were gonna get maybe get better. That's crazy. So we're playing Washington. Love that. One last hurrah. Someone's someone's retiring. Let's see who it is. Damn how? Wait. Oh, I'm stupid. Um Cameron Jordan. So I mean, yeah, that's fine. Um, I wasn't gonna resign him anyway, so we'll call that upgrade some players here. You got some upgrades. I'd be bro if we lose in the playoffs like this, we're actually going crazy. I'm gonna cry. Looking at this, I just want to get the main guys, like the rookies. Yeah, man. Hopefully we go crazy. I mean, it's Washington. I bro in Madden they have a their D line is just. Crazy, they're always gonna get the quarterback no matter what. So hopefully we don't have a hard time with that. But um Yeah man, it should be good. And I'm I'm hoping we win. Alright, I'll just let it auto do those. Like I said, yeah, if we win, that'd be crazy. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we advance to see what we do. I'm hoping I'm hoping we win. Like it's Washington. We're 12 and 5. Come on. Nice. Okay, we beat Washington 27 to 24. That's close. Now we go against a good team. 91 overall offense in the Dallas Cowboys. You know, they got Michael Parsons on defense, so he's gonna be a menace. Menace to us. So hopefully we get the pull the W off in here. Let's see. I'm praying. We look. Yeah, we're praying, we're praying. Come on, we got it, we got it, we got it. Guys, speak it into existence. Okay, yes, sir. We beat the Cowboys too. Okay. Yeah, this is going crazy. Going good. NFC Conference. Hopefully we win. I mean, do this. Got about that. I you know, gotta gotta watch out for copyright and stuff. But um, yeah, man. So we made it to the conference. Okay, that's a oh, but the Hawks are fourteen and three. Usually they're like trash. All right, well I, I have faith in our squad. I have faith in our squad. If we look, we could take a take a. Can you look at playoff like playoff stats? Does it say like what they're doing in the playoffs? 
I think so. No, I don't think so. Um, but I mean, yes, we're gonna keep it pushing. Conference, NFC conference. Hopefully, we win. We got it. We praying. Manifest it. Speak it. Oh no, we lost by one point. No, you the Seahawks beat us by one point. Wow. Wow, I can't believe one point. Nah, that's crazy. Dang, they beat us by one point. All right, but I mean, it's something to build off of. We we went crazy this year. I think we could definitely come back, make the playoffs. Yeah, I, it's not the end of us for sure. We're coming back for sure. Coming back. That's crazy. Um, all right. So we'll advance to the Super Bowl. I do want to look at the yearly awards. So I'll see y'all there. All right, yearly awards. Sadly, we did not make the Super Bowl. We were so close. Looking at this, Sam Howell was fifth. Alvin Kamara fourth. Love to see that. Which of the year am I up there? Dennis Allen is up there. Alvin Kamara, second offensive player of the year voting. Sam Howell's third. Love to see that. Defensive player of the year. Do we, and Jordan went crazy. Apparently, he went crazy on his last year. Hopefully, he decides to come back. But, I mean, it is what it is. Special for the year, Ernest Wind went crazy. Love to see that for the future. BJ Jackson went crazy. Kendrick McKinney went crazy. Love to see that. Love to see that. Sam Howell's second best QB. Best runner back, Alvin Kamara, breakout. Michael Thomas going crazy. Did we get anyone else? Nah. Olan, Brian Ramchick is there. Eric McCoy, yes sir. Best D-line, Cam Jordan's up there. I'm actually shocked. We went crazy. Hopefully we could, I'm hoping we could um, copy and come back stronger even next year. But it's a building block to build on for sure. So I'll catch y'all in the offseason. I'll catch all the resigned players, Mark, because I think we do have to. I don't remember, but I think there's still some people we got to sign. But, yeah, I'll catch y'all in there. All right. Um, right. I'm not really sure if we got to resign anyone. Cameron Jordan, he's still here. I'll probably let him walk. Marcus Davenport. Yeah, we want to bring you back for sure. He doesn't like the salary. He's been... Come on, bro. 46 mil. Right, we got Marcus Davenport back. That's good. Um... Bro, Will Lutz, still homie. Take the darn contract. He's testing free agency. I'm going to just let him walk. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, Yeah, so what I think we need to prioritize is um, definitely need to find a left end and left end. Um, Yeah, left, ta left tackle. Our tackles might be fine. I'll look at our roster and see how it is. Ernest Wynn was a beast. Unfortunately, that he's not a dev, dev trait, but oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to look and see because I, I think BJ Jackson might have been hidden. I believe no, 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 the uh, left house on linebacker was all right, but um, yeah, we're gonna look at free agency and make some moves, make some plays. So, if you just look at this, look at our roster, what do we have? Um, Walker, I'm not see, like, I don't mind this. Definitely need to sign a left guard. Yeah, definitely need to sign a left guard. Yes, sir. Sam Howell's X Factor. Yes, sir. Love. That's a W right there. Um, Defensively. Yes, sir. McKinney's superstar. Uh, no. Oh, we going crazy. Man. Like, our team's corner, man. Corner. Corner. E tackle and end, bro. Corner, D tackle, and end. That's what we got to work on. So, definitely want to get better at that. Also gonna sign a left guard. So should have many free agency additions. Left tackle. Do we bring back Teron Armstead? I'm fine with that. See if he wants to come back. Offer him a contract. Jack Mason. Justin Tucker. Um Stephon Gilmore, he's getting open. I think our Ooh, Logan Wilson. Left end, Demarcus Lawrence. I'm fine with that. Bringing you here. Hey, all the star power for us. That's a W. I'll take whatever we get. Marcus Lawrence ain't that bad. So, definitely would want to bring him here. That's reasonable. I don't... Cam Jordan's here. Yeah. Um. 
corner. That's what I offered. I didn't offer any. Um, are there any other corners besides uh, that I could look at? Um, there's also Trayvon Diggs. Do I get? I don't think I'll get him though. That's a um. The Dolby Awuzi wouldn't be bad. Twenty nine. I think I'd want to sign him on a two if I'm gonna get. Him. Just cause. So I mean, yeah, definitely a lot of, a lot of chances for us to get someone. That linebacker position is fine. So I guess if we hey, we could offer Logan Wilson a deal. We'll see if he'll come on a two year deal. If he'll come, but. Nothing really expected. And then really no linebackers. So yeah. Man, so we can see who we get. See if we get actually if we even get anyone. We'll probably get somebody at least. But uh yeah. Okay, we got got Dustin Tucker and Demarcus Lawrence, I'd say. We need Dang. Um Toronto Arm said they come back. Okay, so we need tackle, tackle, corner, and really that's tackle, corner. I think that's really it. Am I missing something? Marcus Peters, he's old, but he's a vet. I think his presence would be W on the team. Get him there. Um, can't remember. What was... Left tackle, not anyone. I'll probably just draft one. Left guard, we could use a left guard. Um, actually, no, he's fine. I think actually we can find a backup. Who doesn't want that much money? Actually, you want this? You should get him. No, we're probably not. Uh, just give me. I don't need that crazy of a backup. Yeah, just give me something like that. Nothing really crazy, just a backup. And then D tackle. Um use a backup. Like BJ Hill Hill. Wouldn't mind bringing him here. Thank you. We're paying him a lot of money. Then like McDowell. Get him. Definitely would love to yeah, we'll definitely would love to have him on the team. As a he'd probably he'd start for us. So we'll see who we get in this one. If we get who we need, uh, we got Marcus Peters, we got Jack Fox, we got Eric Flowers, but McDowell did not sign. That's not really anything too crazy. So yeah, I'll catch all that end of the draft, and we'll see who's the new addition. Who the Brooks are the draft recap. I wanted to really bolster up that D tackle position. We got two two D tackles back to back. Um, we got a free safety. I'm thinking about moving him to corner because um. I really, because all the other corners really weren't that good. Like, there was one with, like, zero catching. So, I think I might just move this man to corner. So, if we look at it, what's his zone coverage? Um, He he, he could probably play corner. We'll probably move him to corner. So, RJ Walls, probably move him to corner. We could actually do that right now. 71 free safety. I think he should go. He might go. No, he's actually a 70 free safety. We'll see what he is. Corner. When he makes the corner, he's a... Okay, 70. Okay, yeah, so that's fine. Um, Felton. I mainly got him because um, I was looking at his catching and stuff. And he's really... He could... He's, he's more of like a receiving back. Like, if you look at this, look at his catching. Not he, but um... He could run the short route. So, um... He could be helpful. We've got a receiver in Jason Monroe to bolster up that position. And we got a corner in Kevin Lawrence and Lance Main. Really not going to help us much, those last picks. But our main issue was the tackle. And hopefully, we got into a state where it'll be good enough. So that's what I'm banking on right now. And this is the last year, so it's bust enough. It's championship or bust. Right, so I'll catch out the regular season and we'll get the show on the road. All right, it's time to go crazy again. Go back to the conference conference finals. Definitely, we've got to make the playoffs. I at least want to make the Super Bowl. That's all I want to do. 
Made the Super Bowl. I'm chilling. Shouldn't be that hard. Especially what happened last season. I think if we got better, I guess you could say losing DeMarlo Davis and Cameron Jordan did weaken us. But I think overall, after it's all said and done, I think our where we are now is definitely better from what we were. Sam Howell's now X Factor, so that's a big improvement. Got better. We got a uh, decent backup linebackers. Um, not linebackers, the guards. We bolstered up that corner position to Marcus Peters and drafted some cornerbacks. We got the Marcus Lawrence who will fit in that Cameron Jordan role. Got some uh D tackles, and this man already looks like a W. Lindsey Geddes, who was a 78 overall rookie, so that's a W. So I mean, yeah, we really should do good. I don't think there's a way we possibly do terrible. If it is, I'm calling rigged, rigged for sure. So let me just look at it. I put, let me look at the depth chart because I probably will be changing it to more of like a um so slot corner. Look at this. Who has good Lattimore? Lattimore could be a uh, Lattimore could actually play like a slot corner. We'll put we'll put Lattimore in slot. We'll do this, something like that. Yeah, uh, actually, coverage. We'll actually do this. Yeah, we'll do that. Sub linebacker. I think it's fine where it is. That should be fine. Rusty tackle. Uh, referring to it at the deadline, not good, but also not bad. Oh, no, it's also. Hey man, it's championship robust. We gotta get this W. So we take a look at stats, rewards, and see how we're doing. And how not doing uh wise passing yards. So oh, good stuff. But um I guess sacks have been an issue kinda. But no, nah, actually not really. I don't know. We'll see. I we should finish the season with a winning record. We should definitely make the playoffs. So yeah, I'll catch out the end and hopefully make the playoffs. Oh, of course we lose to the Raiders the last, very last game. Oh. oh, that's unfortunate. Um, we're close though, man. Look at the reward. We can look at the stats. Damn, Hal had a crazy season once again. That's unfortunate. Went crazy. I think he just got better and better as the season went on. Mara went crazy. Didn't do that much touchdown-wise. Etchie and Thomas went crazy. Defensive. Oh, like, oh, this was, he had a good year. It was, um, we just didn't win against him. That is, um, dang, we're so close. All right, man, well, I think I'm going to end it here. Hope you all enjoy. And, what out with it. Peace.